guys, let's jump right into this video. So I am over here playing with my hair because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it half up, half down, but I figured it out. I'm just going to throw this bad boy into a bun because I have somewhere to go. I have no time to be sitting here trying to figure stuff out. But anyway, so as you can see, I am literally trying to figure out where I'm going to place this bun on top of my head. And I just want to say that I do have leave-in conditioner and olive oil in my hair, and it's about 95% dry. I'm over here doing a little link check because I haven't seen my hair stretched out in a little minute. And that's just a whole other story. Like, I've just been trying to grow my hair back to where it was. But anyway, now I'm going to use this edge booster stronghold salmon gel and i really do like this gel now i'm gonna tell y'all when i purchased this gel it was $7.99 when i went back the next day it was a $12.99 stick on there and then i see at another spot it was like almost $16 so i don't know if they just priced it wrong the day i went in there but i got a steal and i've had this for like a little over a year because i don't use a lot as you can see i took a medium sized amount and I rub my hands together and I just put it on the back of my hair going in the upward motion to smooth it out on the back of my hair. And I'm probably just going to take a little bit more, not too much, because like I said guys, I do not use a lot of this product. Once I've done that, I'm going to take this brush. Now the bristles on this brush are not super hard, but they're not soft, so I would just say like it's medium. And I'm just going to brush the back of my hair until I feel like it's smooth. And yeah. Once I feel like it's smooth enough, I'm going to move on to the sides and the front. And I'm going to repeat the same exact process. Only this time, I'm probably going to put like a little bit more on the sides of my hair. Like by my sideburns because... Those areas tend to be a lot shorter. I have really, really long sideburns and sometimes I try to pull them all the way up. But for this style, I will be doing baby hair and laying them down. But yeah, I'm just going to continue doing the same thing that I did to the back, to the front and the sides. Once I'm done with that, I move on to a different brush. Now this brush, I feel like it's for men. I think it's for like waves. It's a double-sided brush. One side of the bristles are really, really hard and the other side of the bristles are really, really soft. So I'm gonna be using the harder side and this is just to, I don't know, like make sure it's extra smooth, I guess I could say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to take this squunchy. Well, actually no, this is a headband. Yeah, this is like a headband. But I'm going to use it as a scrunchie. I'm going to like fold it into two. So it's like two loops because my hair is very thick, especially in the middle. So I need something that's not going to pop on me. Once I have my hair right where I want it, I just hold on to it and I take my brush one last time. And I smooth all around my hair because you do not want any lumps or bumps in this hairstyle because that is not going to be cute, okay? And once I do that, then I take the hair tie and I put my hair into a ponytail. see my face because I was like low-key struggling like 
my hair is so thick and i'm telling y'all for a second i thought it was going to pop and i was like oh my gosh if this pops i'm i'm done i'm just i'm just staying in the house because i got somewhere to go i don't have time but it didn't pop it worked out and i got it as tight as i could not too tight where i have a headache but tight enough where it's gonna stay in place all right guys so as you can see i'm kind of being silly right here because i really do like how my curls are looking and i'm like hmm do i want to leave my hair like this but no 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 i'm not i just like how i was looking at this point So now I'm gonna put the hair up into like a little clip so I can just, you know, see how everything looks. And I did have like a little piece of hair sticking out right there, like a little curly spot. I just took that in because we are not about to take this out. It's not that bad, it's not that serious. So I'm gonna take this double-sided edge brush that I got from the Supply store and I'm going to brush my baby hair down and just see you know how much i went down i'm not really going for no crazy look today it's something simple I'm going to be using the edge booster edge control so it's the same line as the styling gel same flavor or scent whatever you want to call it and i'm just going to use that to lay my edges down so this edge control is pretty thick so i am not going to take a lot at all because a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to smooth it on my edges and I'm just going to just shape my baby hair in the way that I want to and I'm gonna make sure I bring it right into the, um, the bun so it all just like flows and looks, you know, cute. So in this clip, I totally forgot to show you guys how I did my sideburns. But actually, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So that's super annoying. But I'm getting ready to shape my bun. But I am checking my sideburns because, listen, you got to make sure you go back and check everything. I know this is quick, but just, you know, quickly check. And I actually did need to do one side of my sideburns over. So now I can show you guys how I swooped it down. Yeah, 
now i'm laughing because i would never freaking forget when i was growing up everybody used to make fun of me about my sideburns oh she got the shanty sideburns oh she mad hairy this side and the third now look everybody wants sideburns everybody want baby hair soup de soup this soup de soup that Okay, 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 so both sides looking pretty good. Now I can move on to my bun. And this, guys, is super duper easy for me. I really just shape it. Like, you have to play with it to see how big or small you want your bun. I didn't want it really, really big. And I wasn't going for no little tiny knot. So I just shaped it in the way that I thought was super cute. And then I just grabbed a couple of pins and placed it where I felt that I needed to. Just to keep the hair in place. And yeah, that's it. So just keep watching and you guys are going to see how it looks at the end. Okay guys, so here's the end result and honestly, I'm really loving this bun. Like, it's super cute, looks really natural and effortless in just 10 minutes. So, I'm getting ready to head out and y'all, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm really annoyed with my skin, but it's that time of the month and y'all already know that the skin just be acting up. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'm gonna catch you guys next time, of course. Later!